Let's do part A. Uh, here we find the area of the region R, where R is the region enclosed by the graph of y equals uh, under the root of x minus 1, the vertical line x equal to 10, and the x-axis. So here I have drawn the diagram of this uh, uh, graph of y equal to under the root of x minus 1, the vertical lines uh, x equal to 10. I have shown that in dotted lines. The graph of y equal to under the root of x minus 1, I have shown this in green color, as well as uh, this x-axis. And uh, this is the region R, which is enclosed above the x-axis and below the graph of y equal to under the root of x minus 1, also uh, enclosed uh, within uh, x equal to 10. And first, uh, we have to determine this uh, point because we need this uh, when we calculate the area. Uh, we can determine this by finding the y-intercept of uh, this uh, equation y equal to under the root of x minus 1. So for that, uh, we have to put y equal to 0. And uh, we say that uh, 0 equals under the root of x minus 1. So when we square this, we get uh, 0 equals x minus 1. From this, uh, we can solve for x. And this equals 1. So this is how we have to determine this point. Uh, that is uh, where the graph of y equal to under the root of x minus 1 intersects the x-axis. So we have that point is uh, x equal to 1. Now we can use the area under the curve formula. So area under curve of f of x in the interval a to b and this is given by integral from a to b where this is uh, intervals of or the limits of x f of x uh, dx. We are going to use this uh, area under the curve formula. So for this uh, region r we write this uh, area of uh, region R and this equals the lower limit is uh, 1 so we write uh, x equal to 1 and the upper limit is uh, x equal to 10 and here uh, f of x that is y is uh, f of x so we put uh, under the root of uh, x minus 1 then uh, dx. So let's uh, evaluate this uh, definite integral to determine the region uh, area of the region R. So this is going to be, I am going to write this as uh, x minus 1 raised to the power of uh, 1 by 2 and this is from uh, x equal to 1 to x equals uh, 10 and this is uh, dx. Now we can use the power rule of uh, integration that is, uh, if we have x raised to the power of n dx, and this equals uh, x raised to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. I'm going to use this uh, formula. But uh, before that, uh, I should make a substitution to rewrite this uh, integral in a form such that I can use this formula. So let uh, x minus 1 equals uh, u, and this implies uh, if we take uh, differentials, we get uh, dx equals uh, du. So now let me rewrite this integral. Um, I'm not putting this uh, limits as of now since uh, these are the limits of x. So let me just uh, convert this uh, integral into u form after making this substitution. So therefore x minus 1, I replace this as u. It becomes uh, u raised to the power of 1 by 2 and dx is uh, replaced as uh, du. So now I can use this uh, formula to integrate this. So using this formula, I see that uh, I can write this as u raised to the power of n equal to 1 by 2. So it will be 1 by 2 plus 1 and then divided by the same number that is uh, 1 by 2 plus 1. Uh, so let me simplify this. This equals uh, u raised to the power of 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 and this equals uh, 2 third u raised to the power of uh, 3 by 2. But notice that uh, this is a definite integral where the limit is from x equal to 1 to x equal to 10. So now that we have integrated this uh, after making the u substitution, we can revert it back to the x variable. So we write this as 2 third of replace u by x minus 1. So it becomes x minus 1 raised to the power of uh, 3 by 2. Now this has to be evaluated from the limit 
from x equal to 1 to x equal to 10. So let's substitute the upper limit which is uh, 2 thirds of uh, 10 minus 1 raised to the power of uh, 3 by 2. I put this bracket minus I replace x by 1 now 1 minus 1 raised to the power of uh, 3 by 2 and this gives uh, 2 thirds 10 minus 1 is uh, 9. So this is uh, 9 raised to the power of 3 by 2 minus 1 minus 1 is 0. So 0 power 3 by 2 is 0. Now we can uh, evaluate the value of uh, 9 raised to the power of 3 by 2 and this equals uh, I can rewrite this as uh, 9 power 1 by 2 once again raised to the power of uh, 3. This is according to the law of exponents that is when you multiply these two we get uh, 3 by 2. So therefore, we can write uh, 9 raised to the power of 3 by 2 as 9 raised to the power of 1 half, uh, once again raised to the power of 3. So this equals, we know that 9 raised to the power of uh, half is exactly equal to square root of 9, and this is raised to the power of 3. And this equals square root of 9 is 3, so it's basically 3 raised to the power of 3. So let me put that here, so I put uh, 2 thirds, and then uh, the value of 9 power 3 by 2 is uh, 3 power 3. So therefore this equals, I can cancel this 1 power, that is uh, this becomes 3 power 2, which is uh, 3 squared. So it is uh, 2 times of 3 squared equals uh, 2 times of 9 equals uh, 18. So we found the area of the region equals 18. Okay, let's do part B. Uh, here we have to determine the volume of solid when the region R is revolved above the line Y equals uh, 3. So here I have shown this uh, diagram with the uh, region R uh, which is enclosed uh, uh, about the curves Y equal to X squared, X minus 1, X equal to 10 and X axis and also it is rotated about the line Y equal to 3 which is uh, shown in blue color. And the rotation is about this line so i have marked this rotation as like this and uh, to find this volume of rotation uh, when this uh, curve or this enclosed region r is uh, revolved above the line y equal to 3 we trace this uh, formula that is a uh, volume of uh, solid of uh, rotation or revolution we see that uh, this is uh, from integral from x equals uh, a to x equals uh, b. And then we put this pi and uh, outer radius. This is uh, outer radius square minus uh, inner radius. This is uh, square. And then uh, this is uh, dx. So this is the formula that we utilize to find the volume of uh, solid of uh, revolution. So let's uh, determine the outer radius uh, as well as the inner radius and the limits of this uh, integration. I have shown this uh, outer radius which is uh, this length. So it is basically nothing but uh, the line y equal to 3. So we say that the outer radius is uh, 3. And then to determine the inner radius, uh, which I have shown in uh, red color, uh, we have to do this uh, calculation. That is, uh, the total length or the total height uh, is 3. And then from that, we have to subtract this uh, uh, curve equation, that is uh, y equal to under the root of x minus 1. So I put uh, under the root of x minus 1. So this uh, gives the inner radius. And the limits of this integration is from uh, x equal to 1 to x equal to 10. So when we substitute this uh, into this formula, we get uh, pi times of uh, the limit of this integration is from 1 to 10. And then outer radius is uh, simply y equal to 3. That is, I put uh, 3 square minus uh, the inner radius is uh, y equals uh, 3 minus of under the root of x minus 1. So I put uh, 3 minus of uh, under the root of x minus 1 and this has to be quantity square and uh, we have to integrate this. So let's simplify and integrate this. 
so we get uh, pi times of uh, this is integral from 1 to 10 3 square is 9 minus uh, let me expand this first so this is going to be 3 square plus uh, x minus 1 under the root uh, quantity square minus uh, 2 times of 3 which is uh, 6 times of uh, under the root of uh, x minus 1 and uh, this is uh, dx i have used this uh, identity that is uh, a minus b quantity square equals uh, a squared plus b squared minus uh, 2ab to expand this uh, quantity uh, square of the binomial where a is 3 and b is under the root of x minus 1. Let's uh, simplify this. So we have uh, pi times of integral from 1 to 10. We have uh, 9 in the first term and inside we have 3 square is 9 plus uh, the square root of, I'm sorry, the square of under the root of x minus 1 is uh, just uh, x minus 1. We then have minus uh, 6 times of under the root of x minus 1. I can write this as uh, 6 x minus 1 raised to the power of uh, 1 by 2. And this has to be uh, integrated with the dx. So we now see that uh, we have this positive 9 and this is uh, negative 9 because we have negative in front. So these two will get cancelled. And we can uh, simplify this. So we get uh, pi times of integral from 1 to 10. We have uh, x minus 1. But uh, this is uh, inside this uh, bracket where we have this uh, negative. So its negative will be negative x plus 1. And then this will become uh, positive plus uh, 6 times of uh, x minus 1 raised to the power of 1 by 2. We have to integrate this uh, expression. So now let's integrate uh, each term one by one. So this is pi times of integration of negative x. Uh, when we use the power rule of integral, you will get uh, negative x squared by 2 plus uh, integration of 1 is uh, 1x. We then have uh, 6 times of uh, x power x minus 1 raised to the power of 1 by 2. So when we integrate this, we will get uh, 6 times of x minus 1 raised to the power of uh, 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 and this has to be evaluated from 1 to 10. First uh, I simplify this uh, constants that is uh, 6 divided by 3 by 2 let me simplify this. So I should do 6 multiplied with the reciprocal of uh, 3 by 2 which is uh, 2 thirds. I can now cancel this to and this 2 times 2 is 4. So basically this is uh, 4. I'm going to change this to 4 times of uh, x minus 1 raised to the power of uh, one uh, 3 by 2. Now I'm going to uh, apply the uh, upper limit. So therefore this equals uh, pi times of negative 10 squared by 2 plus 10 plus 4 times of uh, 10 minus 1 raised to the power of 3 by 2. We then put minus. Now we apply the lower limit. So it becomes uh, negative half plus 1 plus uh, 4 times of 1 minus 1 raised to the power of uh, 3 by 2. We close this bracket because we have this pi as the constant. So this gives uh, pi times of this is uh, negative 100 by 2 is uh, negative 50 plus uh, 10 plus uh, we have 4 10 minus 1 is 9 and this is uh, 9 power 3 by 2 we already determined this in part a this equals uh, 9 times of uh, half uh, raised to the power of 3 so this equals uh, 9 power half is uh, square root of 9 which equals uh, 3 so 3 power 3 is uh, 27 so i put uh, 27 here and we have minus so this equals uh, negative half maybe i can expand this uh, negative now so i put uh, i'm going to take this negative half plus one this is positive half but we have a negative here so i'm going to put uh, negative half plus uh, this is one minus one is zero so this term gets cancelled 
So we only have a negative half from the lower limit. Let's simplify this. So we get uh, pi times of negative 50 plus uh, 10 is uh, negative 40 plus uh, 4 times of 27 equals uh, 108 minus uh, half. Now we calculate uh, 108 minus uh, 40. This equals uh, 68. So I write uh, pi times of uh, 68 minus uh, half. Let's simplify this uh, fraction. So it is uh, 68 minus half which is uh, basically 67 and off. So I write this as uh, 67 and off. Uh, this could be written as a proper fraction. So this is uh, 67 times 2 plus 1 is the numerator divided by 2. 67 times 2 equals 134 plus 1 is 135. So this is basically 135 over 2. And then we multiply with the pi. So this is the answer 135 pi over 2. Or we could also give the decimal approximation, which is uh, 212.06. Uh, and this is uh, in terms of uh, unit cube. Since it is a volume, we write down this unit as unit cube. So this is the volume of uh, solid of uh, rotation. Let's answer uh, part C. Uh, here we find the volume of solid when R is revolved above the line x equal to 10. So once again we have this uh, diagram and in this uh, the R is uh, revolved above the line x equal to 10 which I have shown in uh, blue color which is the axis of rotation. And uh, we can use this uh, formula that is uh, volume of uh, solid of uh, revolution about a vertical line. And here it is uh, given by pi times of, and this term this is uh, y equal to c to y equal to d. And once again, we use this uh, outer radius square minus uh, inner radius uh, square. And then this time it is uh, dy. So let's identify the outer radius and uh, inner radius from the diagram. As I have shown here this line which is this distance uh, given by the vertical line x equal to 10. So the outer radius is uh, x equal to 10. And then the inner radius is given by the graph of y equal to under the root of x minus 1. But we have to find uh, x uh, in, terms, uh, in terms of x uh, from this equation. That is, we have to solve for x. So first, uh, let me square both sides so that I get y squared equals x minus y, x minus 1. Now I add 1 to both sides. When I do that, I get uh, y squared plus 1 equals x. So this is the inner radius. That is, uh, it is given by x equals uh, y squared plus 1. Let me substitute uh, in this uh, formula. So we get uh, pi times of the limits of y is, uh, uh, the lower limit of y is uh, 0. And the upper limit of uh, this uh, integral is uh, y equal to 3 because uh, uh, it uh, intersects at this uh, point. That is the line x equal to 10 intersects the graph of y equal to under the root of x minus 1 at uh, y equal to 3. So that is why the upper limit is 3. So let me put this uh, 1 here. Sorry, this is uh, 0 and the upper limit is 3. We then put the outer radius which is given by x equal to 10. So I just put uh, x equal to 10, which is uh, 10 squared, minus uh, the inner radius. This has to be a function of y, which is uh, y squared plus 1. So I write uh, y squared plus 1 quantity squared. And this has to be integrated with respect to y. So let's evaluate this uh, definite integral. 
Uh, first, let's simplify. Also, we expand this uh, binomial. So, therefore, this is uh, pi times of uh, 0 to 3. 10 square is uh, 100 minus, uh, let me expand this uh, using this uh, a plus b quantity square. This equals uh, a squared plus b squared plus uh, 2ab. So, a squared, which is uh, y squared, square of y squared is y power 4 plus b, which is 1, and the square is uh, 1, plus uh, 2 times of a is y squared and b is 1. So, 2 times of y squared times 1 is 2y squared and uh, integrate with respect to y. We can simplify this uh, further. So, we have pi in front of the integral, integral from 0 to 3. We have 100 here and then this is uh, basically negative 1. So, 100 minus 1 is uh, 99 minus uh, this one is uh, y power 4 and then minus uh, 2y square. This has to be integrated. I put this dy. So, let's uh, integrate this with respect to y. So, we get uh, pi times of integral of 99 which is a constant with respect to y is 99y. And when we use the power rule of integral, we write this as y raised to the power of 4 plus 1 which is y power 5 over 5 minus uh, 2 times of y, uh, this is power is 2, so we add 1 to it, therefore it becomes uh, y cube divided by 3, and this has to be evaluated from uh, 0 to 3. So let's uh, apply the limits now. So we get uh, pi times of uh, 99, replace y by 3, that is the upper limit, minus uh, 3 power 5 over 5, minus uh, this is uh, 2 thirds, 3 cube. This is for the upper limit minus uh, the lower limit. If we replace the y by the lower limit uh, 0, every, every term will be 0. So therefore, this is uh, 0. Let's simplify this. So we have uh, pi times of 99 times of 3 equals uh, 297 minus uh, 3 power 5 equals uh, 243. This is uh, over 5. I can cancel this 1 power of 3 with uh, 3 in the denominator. So it is uh, 3 squared. 3 squared is 9. 9 times of 2 is 18. So I put uh, 18 here. Now let's uh, consider 5 as the common denominator. So this will be 297 times 5 minus uh, 243 times 5 minus, uh, I'm sorry, this should not be multiplied with 5 because it already has the common denominator 5. So I put minus 18 times of 5 and this is uh, over the common denominator 5. So let's simplify this. 297 times 5 equals uh, 1485. So I put uh, 1485 minus uh, 243 minus uh, 18 times 5 equals uh, 90 and this is over 5 so we get uh, when we simplify this uh, we get uh, 1152 divided by 5 and we also have this pi so this is uh, multiplied by 5 so this is the volume of uh, solid of revolution when it is uh, rotated above the vertical line. That is 1152 pi over 5. Uh, we can also give us decimal approximation. We plug this into the calculator. When we do that, we get uh, 723.82. Uh, and this is also in terms of uh, unit cube and uh, unit cube since it is a volume.